All right, now that you have gotten to 1E, it is time to take your formative assessment. So let's talk a little bit about what that means and what it should look like. So on every single grid, when you get to this point, there will be this reminder of how to take the formative assessment. It might be labeled a little different, but it'll always be there to remind you exactly what to do, especially at the beginning when you're trying to get used to um, what to do when you get done with the level and you're ready for the assessment. So here is what you'll see at the end of level one, color coded in the red, just like level one is. And then there'll be another one for level two and it'll be yellow and it'll be very similar. But now you're ready for your formative assessment. Formative assessment is kind of like a, a check-in for us. I know we've had some small check-ins along on the grid, but this is a little bit bigger one that um, allows us to see how are we doing so far? Do we know the information? Are we ready to move on to that next level? So when it's time, there's a couple of things you need to do. And again, this is here for you to click on in the grid so that you can see exactly what you need to do. So here's what you need to complete. First off, you need to make sure you've done all the tasks in that level as needed, especially for this intro grid. Once we get to some other grids, there might be times where you can skip some of the levels or parts of the level and still take the assessment if you knew it already. You don't have to do every single little thing in the level in order to be ready for that assessment. Some of us have some background knowledge already on some topics, and so we can take that assessment quicker than others and without having to do all those. So that's why I put the as needed. This first time you probably did all of it because this is an introduction to our new instructional model. So when you're ready, you've completed all the tests that you need to in that level. Um, you pack up and put away all your materials except for a pencil unless there is another material needed and that will usually be explained um, somehow throughout the grid or when you're ready for that assessment. So once you've packed up your materials then you're ready to let those around you know that you're about to take an assessment whether it's an formative assessment like this or the end of the unit assessment, the post assessment, or sometimes we call it summative assessment. Um, whatever assessment it is that you're taking, you need to make sure you're letting the people around you know. Because since we're all moving at our own pace, you might be taking an assessment before someone else, or maybe even after them. And so if they've already taken it, they should not be telling you anything about it. It's all you taking the assessment. Um, no one else is, is helping you out. And if someone hasn't taken it yet, you should not be sharing any information with them. So you need to make sure people around you know that you're about to take an assessment and that way they are aware to, to not bother you and that you should not be talking to them. Um, so make sure you've let those people around you know. And if there is talking during that assessment, if I can see that you might be getting help or helping others, that is going to result in a lunch detention or maybe a detention after school. We'll have to see how that works out. Um, another great signal that's going to tell everyone around you, including myself, that you are taking an assessment is you're going to get a privacy folder from the white drawers in the back of the room. They're labeled and you'll be able to just grab one set it up as you're packing up. So you'll have a pencil and you'll have the privacy folder to show those around you that you're taking an assessment. And then of course, we don't wanna be freaked out by assessments, so we wanna take a deep breath and relax and know that you got this and that you're taking it when you're ready. Because if you have completed the task but you're not ready for the formative yet, maybe go back and look at one of those um, videos or if there was a part that you struggled with a little bit, go back and take a look. It's okay to do that. Just because you're done with the level doesn't mean you're necessarily ready for the assessment. So take your time and go back if you need to. Um, but if you're ready, then take a deep breath. And for our formative assessments, I'm giving you some responsibility here and you're going to go get the assessment yourself. There are drawers labeled in the back of the room on top of those white drawers. So you can um, grab, it'll say level one formative assessment. You'll be able to go and get that and start once you have all these other things ready to go. And good luck, you know you've got this, you know you're ready. So those are the procedures when you are doing a formative assessment.